Hey there folks and welcome back to the I am CDB project. I of course am your host CDB, you are not. And today I'm just gonna ramble about uh, a few topics because I've gotten um, a really excellent response when I've talked about um, fasting and weight loss and uh, a little about ketogenic diet, but I haven't gone into that at length because it's not something I'm doing myself. But I have to say, I'm extremely pleased uh, at the response the fasting videos uh, have gotten because I've gotten a number of emails over the past, I guess, you know, four or five months, six months, uh, after I told my story about losing, you know, 100 pounds and keeping most of that off. And in fact, I'm working towards that uh, 100 again because, you know, as you know, a couple weeks ago, I mentioned I took a few months off. I put on a few pounds, but uh, I've got it almost back off again. So I'm almost down that 100 again. At any rate, it has been extremely um, rewarding to hear people who have been inspired uh, by my story, even if just if it's just a little. If I happen to be the one who puts you over the edge to, to make a change, then I'm, I'm really, uh, I feel great about that. It's probably the most important videos, at least, that I've ever made. Because you know, I've done a ton of videos on shaving and traditional shaving and social issues and all that and as many of you know i like to hear myself talk as much as anybody does you know i, I love me some me i think that's <laughs> well known some some might argue i love me some me too much but anyway i'm really happy whenever i get responses and people who have been helped i do like to be of service uh to people and so as uh over the past week or so, I've gotten a number of emails, uh, at least three, uh, maybe more, of folks who chose to make a change, to start fasting, doing intermittent fasting, and some folks who have done, um, switched to a ketogenic uh, diet. Uh, one gentleman has lost 80 pounds, and I won't mention his name because he didn't give me permission to, but uh, the gentleman who I'm talking about will, will recognize this because he just emailed me yesterday or today. And I'm extremely thrilled for you, sir. That's really great. I couldn't be more happy for you. And I am very proud to have been of some help. Uh, another individual who's a, uh, a well-known YouTuber in the traditional shaving community has dropped 30 pounds. And to you, again, sir, I couldn't be more happy for you that uh, that particular individual said he had hit a plateau with his fitness. He had been working out, and I think he worked out pretty regu regularly, if I'm not mistaken. And you know, he just hit a plateau, and they started, you know, intermittent fasting and things of that nature, and the weight just began to come off where he had hit a plateau. And so, I think it's the one thing I've learned, and I spoke about it in previous videos. You can't out train. A bad diet if you eat everything in sight I don't care how much you exercise you know it's hard to to burn all those calories and burn the subsequent fat off unless you're one of these people that have a, just an extremely high metabolism and you just burn everything you put in your body and that's not most of us when we get uh, close to 50 years old or over 50 years old let's say you know 45 years old and up generally things tend to slow down it doesn't happen for everybody but I think it happens to a lot of us and so therefore, if you're exercising and you're really active, if you still, you know, if you're still eating a number of times a day, the weight can still come on. Um, because throughout the two or three months that I took off uh, from fasting, I continued to exercise. My activity level was up and guess what? The pounds still came back. A few, you know, I think I said about, what did I say? 12 pounds or 13 pounds, I can't remember what I put on. But anyway, that was with exercising, with uh, making a concerted effort to move around and not be sedentary. Uh, because, you know, one of the things that I realized is, of course, when I was at my heaviest, I was, you know, fairly sedentary. And so I've, uh, since that time, made a concerted effort to, to move around. But that said, moving around alone, exercising alone, doing cardio, doing weight, it's not enough. 
not enough for me at least. So I continue to sort of echo the same message and I realize these videos might get uh, repetitive for some of you. But every time I make one of these videos, somebody else sees it and somebody else is inspired. And that's extremely uh, rewarding for me. It makes me happy. And if you're one of those people who decide today, look, you know, I'm kind of tired of of uh, carrying all this excess weight around. And believe me, I still got weight to lose. So I'm not saying this as Mr. Fitness. I'm just saying, you know, I've made a lot of progress. Uh, if, if today you want to make a change, you can. Again, check out the book, The Obesity Code by Dr. Jason Fung. It's what put me on this path and I think I just happened upon it on a YouTube video or something someone said you gotta read this book it makes all the sense in the world now a lot of people have chosen the keto route I did attempt that it's too difficult for me and the jury is out at least for me on whether long term you know how that works out health wise uh, consuming large amounts of, of uh, dietary fat whether it's healthy or not you know the jury's out people haven't been doing it that long of course they've done Adkins and paleo and all the rest but I think fasting for me is the key uh, unless you know obviously if, if you're a diabetic or you have to watch your blood sugar I mean you should certainly consult a physician and get their take but I gotta tell you I'm a little bit skeptical of what we've been told and I've mentioned this in previous videos both um, from nutritionists and the medical community because they poo-pooed a lot of things that now seems to, you know, maybe it's not the case. I don't know. All I can tell you is what worked for me and fasting, both uh, short-term fasting, intermittent fasting. And when I say intermittent fasting, for those who haven't, you know, looked that up, that means confining your eating to a small window, say a six or eight hour window a day, and then you don't eat the rest of the day. Or you just eat one meal a day or something like that. Or you eat two meals within a six hour period. For me, I find that doing that is extremely beneficial. And also, I do longer term fasting, two, three, four days uh, in a row. And it, I feel great doing it. Uh, you may or may not. It does take some adjustment. But again, I'm going through this all over again because I just hope uh, other people who have had these troubles will, will consider it, will read the book, will think about... Um, the sense that it makes. Uh, there's some documentaries on fasting and ketogenic diet, one on Netflix, which I can't think of the name the uh, name of it right now, but I have been convinced, and I gotta tell you, I would not have been a believer that vast amounts of sugar and carbohydrates are our enemy. And in my opinion, based on my own experience, I cannot draw any other conclusion. And again, it is from my experience. It's not just based on what I've read. It's It's when I chose to really limit those things, the weight came off, you know, and also to a certain extent, uh, reducing your calories. But I gotta tell you, and I think Dr. Fung says this rather eloquently, all calories aren't equal. So if you eat 300 calories that's kale or some green vegetable, and you eat 300 calories that's a donut, those calories are not equal. Yes, they're 300 each, but what they do for your body is not the same thing. So people who strictly say calories in, calories out, it's all about calories, and they're talking Weight Watchers and just just calorie counting. I think people have tried to do that for the last 30, 40 years, and largely unsuccessfully, although there are people who have made progress and made significant gains. I don't think that's a lasting way to do it. I think some of these new revelations about fasting and keeping your... Uh, insulin levels down uh, is the long-term key and that's what I will continue to do and from time to time I may pick up a little weight but I'll take it back off uh, through fasting and so again I know I'm babbling but I just want to thank all of you uh, if you have had some success with this uh, you know shoot me an email cdb at imcdb.com let me know how it went for you even if it didn't go well I'm, I'm certainly interested in hearing uh, about your experience and to all you folks who have taken this path and who have made uh, gains and when I say gains I actually mean losses lost weight or your uh, you know fitness has improved and even my resting heart rate is down I mean it's really done wonders for me and I hope it will help you too and these are really some of my favorite videos that is to say videos where I think I'm at least trying to be of service to people, I think some folks will obviously, you know, 
disagree, make fun of it. I really don't care about those people. For those of you who write in and go, you know what? I listened, I got the book, and I'm down 80 pounds. That means something. That means something in someone's life. And not only in their life, but their family sees it, and they're happy, their coworkers see it. It really changes people's lives. And for me, that is just excellent. I'm super excited for you people, and I hope you'll continue uh, to do so. If you uh, choose to embark upon, I hope you just keep pressing on and get where you need to be. So I'm wishing you a lot of success. Uh, good health and happiness. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You're not. God bless and good luck. Well, let me take that back. No good luck because you don't need good luck. All you need is discipline and willpower and you will make it happen. Thanks for watching.